to ARC tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answer Series. This is episode number 26 and today's question is how can you combine two arrays into a third array using spread operator. Now here basically the interviewer is trying to check if you have worked with ES6 new functionalities that are available one of which is spread operator. Spread operator itself is extremely powerful when used properly. So there will be a lot of questions coming in the series which uses spread operator very heavily so you can get to learn all the different use cases. Let's get started and see that in action and do some hands-on activity. All right, before we get it down to hands-on, I'll request you to please check out my ebook that I've written on JavaScript coding snippets. All these questions that I'm covering are available in the PDF for your reference with answers. These are the coding snippets that are must for every developer to know. The, if you are preparing for the JavaScript front-end developer role, this definitely will help you. Please do check it out at arctutorials.gumroad.com. If you have any issues, write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com. All right, back to the question, which is how can you combine two arrays into a third array using spread operator? Very, very basic, dead simple. You should be able to crack this question in less than 30 seconds. All right. Uh, for that, you should have your basics and fundamentals clear because all the question itself says that using spread operator. So there is no thinking much there. Let's go ahead quickly create that. All right. So let's create two arrays. Uh, for now, I'm just calling it AR1 or just call it first array and give some value. And these are use cases really that you would require on a day to day basis working uh, with spread operators. Right, so here I'm going to say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now we got two input arrays that as our input. Now the requirement was to create a new array which which will be a combination of array one and array two and using spread operator. So the spread operator is written as three dots followed by the first array, comma, dot, 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 second array. That's it. That's what the interviewer wants to know that if you have worked with spread operator with arrays. Okay, that's it. You console log, you should see the combination of these two. All right, so now you see we got one single array which has 10 elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So this is the most simplest, easiest way and the right way, especially when you're working in enterprise applications, you don't want to mess up the existing arrays. So whenever you get such use cases, always try to use the spread operator. That's the core logic of it. Right, pretty simple, straightforward. I don't think you should be missing this out. These are the basics that you need to absolutely get it right. Thank you so much for joining in this series. Um, I will see you in the next episode. Before before I leave you, please don't forget to check out the ebook that will really help you in becoming good at coding. You can find the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. If you have any doubts, please write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.